Okay, so uh, hello, dramatic lighting ship. Okay, so next we look at the steps again. Uh, dramatic lighting, we add a normal layer after we have the ship uh, on the, this position and then we set this uh, color and then we set to multiply 75%. Set the levels high, the contrast up to uh, 1.3. Then we apply some orange color on top. Orange color change the layer bending mode to overlay. And then erase off part of it. And then create this uh, strobe light. Emitting sunlight and then erase off some of it so that there's a gradient. And then blur the strobe light a little bit and then you get a result like this. Alright, so let me show you. Original ship. Duplicate it again, bring it down, press Ctrl E to merge it. Ctrl plus left click on this uh, layers icon here for me to grab this selection. So the history is telling you I'm loading the selection of this area here. Ctrl left click on this icon here to grab this uh, selection. Create a new layer, color pick on this blue color, and I'll just fill here. Okay. So of course, uh, everything we do here, the main silhouette has to be clean. No? So you don't want your main silhouette to have dirty things on the outside, something like this. And then your fill will have problems. So when you manage your layers in Photoshop, make sure you know um, your silhouette is clean, it's nice. And then when you apply a few colors, it's 100% throughout the whole ship. And then I'll change this to multiply, 75%. Works pretty well. Go to my original ship, have a look at it. Uh, actually, I'll just desaturate decontrast it to 1.3 just now on the on the steps that is shown group this up as dramatic ship dramatic lighting ship then i'll apply a bit of this uh, orange color on top think of the layers as 3d like uh, i mean we are painting on 2d plane but obviously there's ups and downs on this ship's face Obviously, the spheres, there's ups and downs. Also, consider those when you paint. And we reset this layer to overlay. Okay, so it works pretty well already once you have overlay. And then I'm just merging it to the right spots. So if I think these spots are good, I can leave it like this. I can do a layer mask to erase off certain areas that I think is too much. So I can let the light only affect certain areas. So it's like erasing, but the difference with layer mask is that I have, I can bring it back if I want to. It's almost like erasing. Just with more controls. Okay, almost done here. Let me just chew here a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, next I want to create this uh, stroke light. It's like a spotlight coming from the top. Same orange color. Let it. I can use a color dodge for this. 
Yeah, you just use normal. Normal is fine. Opacity is 55. Just erase off the bottom part so it has a gradient. Uh, I can warp it a little bit so it becomes just the right size. Okay, I can do a Gaussian blur. So it just softens the edge slightly. Okay, so now we have the spotlight out. Okay, so I can call this spotlight. This is the orange on ship. So ship layer has orange. And then this is the dark blue over back to multiply. This is the ship. Okay, if I want a final touch up, I add another layer of orange on top. And just to emphasize the brighter spots of orange, this one. So on certain areas, that's this hotter spots of orange. And just let it be over there. Now we just erase it here. Erase, erase, erase. Okay, I don't want it to be too hot, now, so I'm gonna make this more yellowish. So I'm gonna color correct my previous light on ship to be more yellowish. Okay, so this is the hot orange this which is the hottest highlight on the ship um yep i think that's that Adjusting the edge a little bit more. Using smudge. In a spotlight, I can make it a bit more orange here also. So let it let the glow come out a little bit more. It's almost like the shape is very shiny here. I think for lights, a bit more glow is okay. Make it a bit. It's a little bit nicer. Alright, so that's it. Uh, hope you all enjoy this uh, painting these four ships. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.